I'm Daniela, part of the Atlas team. Today I'm going to do a deep dive into Atlas and show you how it works so you can get started. First off, let's recap on what Atlas actually is. Atlas is the first teamwork directory that connects the dots across teams, the apps they use, and their work, wherever it happens. We know there is a problem with communication and alignment across teams, so we built Atlas to help teams stay in sync, async. In Atlas, you can see every person and the teams they're a part of, and the projects those teams are delivering in support of shared goals. This empowers everyone in an organization to be able to answer, what are we doing? Why are we doing it? Who's working on it? And how's it going? So let's dive in. In Atlas, every project has its own homepage. Here, you add what the project is and why it's important. You can include additional context with media and by embedding links. You define what success looks like for a project and also map it to a goal. I'll explain goals in more detail in a bit. Next, define the status of the project and its timeframe. If the project deadline isn't set in stone, you can choose a month or even a quarter as a target. This is great for managing expectations. If I move over to the right, you can see that each project has an owner, but you can also add multiple contributors to it, both individuals or teams. You can share where the work is happening and being tracked, for example, in a JIRA issue or Confluence page, whichever tools you use to get the job done. You can also add any other additional links you need to. You can tag your project with relevant topics. This is a great way to categorize and curate work for different audiences. I'll show you a bit more on the power of topics later. It's important to remember that Atlas is not where the work itself is actually happening. It's not designed to replace the tools used within Teams. Rather, Atlas helps communicate the work happening across Teams. So how does Atlas keep everyone informed on progress? Atlas eliminates the need for tedious status update meetings as progress updates are completely asynchronous. Every week for projects, owners are prompted to post a brief status update limited to 280 characters to communicate progress or change. This makes updates easier to digest and more relevant. This is then sent automatically to stakeholders, i.e. those who are contributing to a project or who are following it as part of a digest. This is sent every week for projects and every month for goals via email, Slack or Microsoft Teams, whatever their preference is. Stakeholders can add reactions or comment on updates. From the Updates tab on a project, you can also get a useful visual of how a project has evolved over time. For example, whenever it changed status, when new contributors were added, or when the date was refined. Remember that update reminders only start once a project is no longer set as pending or paused. Owners can also share any learnings they have on their projects in a separate tab to build knowledge. Knowledge sharing across teams can be hard since knowledge is so often siloed or undocumented. You can add learnings as you go, for example, customer insights or processes that did or didn't work. These are also shared with the relevant stakeholders. Now you understand projects, let's move on to goals in Atlas. Goals are a flexible way to represent outcomes that multiple projects contribute to. For example, a company-wide revenue goal for a year will take a lot of projects to achieve. It gives leaders and other stakeholders a clear, bird's-eye view of how work connects together and is progressing. Goals can be nested at team, department, or organizational level, depending on what the organization decides is best. Goals have a single owner, and you can add the teams that contribute to them. You can tag goals with topics, just like with projects. Status and scores can be added to show the current goal status and the level of confidence in achieving a goal by its target date. Again, you can choose a month or quarter as a target date for more flexibility. Goal scoring is particularly useful if an organization chooses to track objectives and key results. Remember, Atlas wasn't made to prescribe a specific way of working on a team or an organization. Rather, it equips everyone with a tool and framework to build a shared practice of communication 
and definitions that work for them. At any time from my Atlas homepage, I can get a snapshot of the status of the projects and goals that I am part of or follow and filter by specific topics. Remember earlier when I mentioned tagging projects and goals by topics? Well, these are a great way to group projects and goals together. This could be by program, team, product, quarter, or something else. Anyone in Atlas can follow topics to see them in their feed. This means I don't have to follow each individual project. From the topics directory, I can also browse and follow topics or dive deeper into a specific one. And when on a topics page, I can change the view to timeline, which gives me a clear visual overview of projects in progress. If I'm looking for something specific, I can also go to the projects or goals directory pages and filter however I like by topic, owner, status, or even reporting line. Even better, I can share and embed any Atlas projects or goals in other Atlassian tools that I use like Confluence or Jira. For example, I can go to a Jira issue and paste my Atlas filtered view there. I can change this display to embed to see a live list of projects or goals that match the filters I set. I can even do the same with any topic link. Now you know the work that's happening, the how and the why, what about the people behind it? Think about the question, what team are you on? Well, there are probably several ways that you could answer that. Like I said earlier, for every project and goal in Atlas, you can see an owner, the contributors and the teams they're on. Every team member has their own profile with an overview of their work, projects, goals, and more information about them. You can also see who they work with, their reporting lines and their various teams. Atlas syncs with identity providers like Okta and Azure to ensure this is always in sync with an organization's source of truth. You can jump over to the Teams page to browse or search, and each team has its own profile too, so you can get the bigger picture. So that's a brief overview of Atlas, the first teamwork directory that connects the dots across teams, the apps they used, and their work wherever it happens. You can head over to atlassian.com forward slash Atlas to get started for free or learn more about our current plans.